Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of Austin Wald. Um, this is a map by Acker Designer. It is 448.69 megabytes to download and is currently for PC and Mac players only. Um, so as always, I'm going to go ahead and read the description real quick for us and then we'll go ahead and get into the tour. So the description says, Welcome to Austin Wald in the beautiful Munsterland. Uh, the card contains fourfold card. Uh, more ground, I'm assuming fourfold means four racks probably. Uh, more ground angle equals 32, 201 fields, one gas station, four water purchase points, 14 forest areas, six yards, two free areas for building, one vehicle dealer, 10 points of sale, one livestock dealer, one start yard, one fire department, sales outlets and dealers having opening hours, opening times from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. There are pastures for cows and some meadows. There's also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 required mods for you uh, today, which will download automatically if you download the list from the in-game mod hub. So uh, there we go. Okay, so if things also sound a little bit strange, I am recording my uh, first video while I'm hanging out with DJ Goham at his house for just a, a week to get some work done and do stuff after we got done with PAX East. So just chilling, relaxing, doing some vids here and there. So that's what we got going on. But uh, yeah, so if it sounds a little bit different, that's why. Um, but yes, let's hop in the map here and take a look. So again, I believe this is a 4X map. It's pretty big. Uh, starting areas we own, we own quite a few actually. See on this field down here, it looks like a grass field. This field up here next to the shop, which is where we're at starting, uh, which is a grass field, kind of the starting farm area down here, this grass field, and then this grass field. So just a bunch of grass fields. Um, and then down here we have some chicken pens, um, a half timbered house with silo. And again, that's also got the house point there as well. Then a few pieces of equipment down there as well. So um, nothing too crazy. Um, no extra crops, anything like that. I don't think there's any extra products. Nope, everything's standard there. Um, we'll take a look at the equipment that we start off with in the store here in a second. Uh, we start with $100,000 in new farmer mode, no starting loan. Um, we have again, those three animal pastures I showed you guys. We have contracts on fields we don't own. Um, oh, I need to change my money over to dollars for me at least. Uh, production chains, we don't own any starting out, and there are 100 collectibles on the map, which is pretty sweet. So, uh, yes, I am going to go ahead and actually buy all the land here real quick, uh, just to make sure if there's anything on there that we want to find that we do actually end up finding it. So let's make all of it belong to our farm. And then I don't know if any extra points of interest showed up. Let's see for pens. Yeah, we got a bunch of bunch of pens that showed up now. Uh, that we've done that so and we also own the bga so if you buy um the chunk land the bga's on you're going to get that which i don't know where that one's at sugar mills up there let's see sawmill down there bga right there perfect so bga is going to be 176,000, which isn't too bad there's definitely more expensive ones out there so um not the worst but yeah with where we're at here we'll probably walk around this chunk of the map and then also walk down to the starting farm and then we'll see what kind of equipment we have down there, but we'll probably do, um, I want to drive around a little bit. Well, this is, it's a pretty big map and things are pretty spread out. So you might actually just do a quick flyover of it um, and just kind of point some stuff out as we go. Uh, that might just be easier. But in terms of the store, pretty straightforward, pretty basic. Um, we have made a little bit of money actually up there. So I bet we have some solar panels or something like that somewhere. We have a repair trigger here. And then we have, of course, our store trigger right there. If we head it back outside, I'll speed us up just a little bit. So, across the way over here, we have the bakery point, looks like. That's actually a bakery. Yep, that's the bakery point right here, just across the way. Head back out in the main road. Head up the road here. Now, these are some nice sheds and stuff here if you wanted to buy this. This is kind of a nice little farm as well. It has a half-timbered farmhouse and a water purchase point. So those are kind of the points of interest here. Nice little farm area. So there's definitely, definitely wouldn't be a bad map for multiplayer either because there'd be, you know, a few things going on. Um, and I think we'll dip down this way, take a look at this area over here. And then I think we should be able to cut across to the starting farm. So there should be, yes, right here, a little dirt road. And this should get us down over this way. Right hand side here, we have the store, so you can access it from the back there if you'd like to. Oh, there's traffic on this road. Interesting. Definitely a tight road for that. Head up over here. 
On the right-hand side, we have a country trade grain purchase. So I'm assuming that's a purchase point there for us to buy some different supplies. And then a lime purchase as well. So maybe seeds and stuff there and then lime there. I'm not sure completely. Though. Then we have the land handle grain sale. So we can also sell all of our grain and stuff there too, which is great. Then over here on this side, what do we have? We have another farm. We have a farmhouse there. And then we also have the BGA. So if you wanted to do a lot of BGA work, you could have a little house on here and everything and be good and set to go. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what's over here. We're going to try to dip across now to the farm, which we should be able to do without too many issues, hopefully. Yeah, so our farm should be, yeah, just up and to the left there. So we'll just head up this road, and then we'll have to do a little bit of cutting across. Just get through the, the canola here. Okay, so this is kind of our starting farmyard. I'm going to go to the entrance here, so we can kind of walk through it from there. So if you're coming in from the road, that way, goes up around to the shop, and actually across the way here, we do actually have a nice cow pasture if you wanted to do cows. So um, if you wanted to do cows right off the bat, you could probably buy this chunk of land. How much is that? Well, maybe not right off the bat, but soon-ish you could buy that. Um, and then right across here, we have the entrance to our farm. Our starting equipment, let's take a look at that real quick. All right, so we have a Fence 724 Vario. Oops, didn't really go all the way out. We have a nice Kloss Treon 750, and then we have a header for that. We have a small trailer, well, medium trailer actually, to be honest. Um, then we have a small cultivator, a decent-sized direct reel seeder there. We have a header trailer, which makes sense for these roads. And then we have a nice little pack 750 weight. So not a lot of starting equipment, actually. Uh, pretty low-key starting equipment for uh, for new fire mode compared to most other maps. Here's our silo and the half-timbered house. That's where you can get stuff out right there. Storage here. You can dump stuff in here for your chickens. That's one of our chicken pastures. That one does 50 chickens. We got a dog roaming around, love it. Um, that should be everything on that side, yeah, because you can get out those ways on the half timbered silo. You can see our harvesters parked out here. I believe this is going to be. We should, we should be able to open that. I'm assuming we can go into this some way. Maybe we have to go in that little side door. What was a little side door here? Yep, there we go. Okay, just a storage facility here. And once you're inside. Yep, there you go. Now we can open it up. And these are probably our other two chicken pens here, but we'll take a look at those in a second. Nice little kind of garden area. Well, not garden area, but some trees and things there. And then these guys, big old chicken pens through here. These are very large. Right there is you can put chickens in. 2,000 chickens. So you can have up to 4,000 in here. All these go into here. That's kind of cool. I'm assuming this is a modded chicken pen. I didn't read all the uh, starting mods. So yeah, large old chicken coop. I think that's what this is here looking over at the mod list. But uh, nice little gazebo area here. Fantastic. And then we have some more storage, which I can't open. Here we go on the door. There we go. Nothing in there. We don't have a ton of equipment anyways to store. Uh, but there you go. That is the starting farm there. Let's go ahead. And just take a quick fly around the rest of the map. There's not a ton going on, but we'll take a look at it here. As you can see, the map is quite large. So things we've seen, we have a nice cow pasture over there. This is kind of the layout of our starting farm here. If we just fly right up this way, loop around this road, you can see our BGA off in the distance there and that grain cell point there. Store here bakery there and then we have another farm right here which has got a pretty cool layout so i like that well that's kind of what we have going on in this area i think what we're going to do is we're going to keep uh yeah we'll probably just keep working along this road head out here take a look at some of the stuff out here uh so you can see mostly out here we just have farms and stuff like that we do have the grain mill and the sugar mill out there but this the rest of this is just farm and pastures and we also have the biomass heating plant on the way so we'll kind of take a look at that as we go but yeah nice little map well, I shouldn't say little. It's a very large map. 4X map, I believe. It appears to be a 4X map, and I'm assuming that's the reason it's going to be uh, PC only. It's just because of that. So that would be my guess. That would be my guess. Head up this way. 
See the biomass heating plant, I believe, is going to be right there in the distance. Yeah, I think that's going to be it right there. Yep, biomass heating plant right about there. And you got the sugar mill right over there, and the grain mill right here. And then, of course, you got some farm buildings and stuff for a couple of different farms. I think that's why I'm making money, because some of those probably have solar panels or something. But yeah, there's your grain mill, and then your sugar factory there. So if we worked our way up here, I think we'll head across. Uh, we'll take a look at the oil mill. we got a little pig farm down here, and then we also have the cereal factory out that way. Uh, so we'll work our way out that way. Um, actually, maybe we'll go out and we'll kind of work our way down this way through here. Uh, through here we got a cow barn and things like that. We have a silo there. Um, we have the bale sale point, which I'm going to tag that so we kind of head in that direction. Um, gas station down there too. Yeah, so we'll kind of head down that way. Yeah, overall really nice map. I like it. Not too bad. I'm kind of curious what that was down here. Oh, this is going to be a pasture, I see. Cow pen. Okay, perfect. That makes sense. Nice little farm area down here. There's a lot of little farms on this thing. This thing would honestly be really good for multiplayer in terms of that. Another pasture down there. And here we are. Just go into there. There's the bale sale point. And we do have a little gas station right here as well. And if we head up this way, I believe that's going to be, yep, there it is, the oil mill straight ahead up there. So we got the pig farm, the oil mill, and then over there we have, oh, what was that other factory? Cereal factory? Yeah, there we go. So see, so we got the oil mill here. We have the pig farm here and the cereal factory just over that way. Um, and now we can kind of take a look at the southern half of the map, I think. And I believe this is going to be another sell point here. Yep, Bergman Grain Sales. And you got also a couple of uh, buy points in there, three to be exact. Another water purchase point there. Some buying points down here, too. Looks like quite a few down by the animal dealer. And also a bale sales livestock trade. So... That's going to be all stationed down here. Nice little strange island down here. A little Oh, look like, like an old little grain mill. That's kind of cool. Or a windmill. Nifty. I like that. And then right here we have all the different buying points and the animal dealers right there. Uh, what else we got? The dairy down here. Um, we do have a couple of grain sales or grain sale and a debris crusher. Uh, there's no random cow pasture down there. And then at the bottom right-hand corner, we have the sawmill um, and another water purchase point. So continue down this way. Out there, that was the, yep, there's the dairy point right out there. Just kind of tucked away out there on the edge of the map. And then right straight ahead, we have... Again, the grain sale and debris crusher. So I have a little, a couple of little cell points in here. See the debris crusher down there, and this is going to be the grain sale. Then we had across the bottom. It's kind of a little bit far for it to render, but you can see. That might just be a placeable area. Oh, it is. It's a placeable area. I was about to say. I thought this was the. It was going to be the starting farm. The starting farm's rendered in right over there. So there we go. Starting farm there. You got the store off in the distance there just to kind of give you a perspective of where we're at from where we started. And if we head out this way, we should have the sawmill out here. I'll speed us up just a touch. Um, looks like in our placeable area there. So there's even plenty of space for you to just kind of build your own farm or do what you'd like to do, which is pretty nifty. So I like that setup about this. And there we got the sawmill, another water point there, and just kind of a nice... This looks like part of the sawmill, maybe? Or no, just a luxury hotel. <laughs> there we go. Well, anyhow, yeah, guys, that is the map tour for you guys. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.